As I have for a very long time, as I've been Facebook mentioning, I don't know if I have any makeup on today, uh, and I am in the car, but uh, I wanted to say hi to all you guys because I have not been here and I am loving this other platform. So I, I just tuned on a couple of my friends and I was listening to Facebook. Hello, my guys. Um, I have been, wow, there's a lot of you here. Maybe, maybe Periscope's gotten a lot more popular since I left. But when I go to Facebook, thousands and thousands of people. So I don't know how you guys know that I'm on Periscope. I think it pops up. I think they do a very good job of informing people. So I'll let a couple of you, how have you been? I know, listen, oh, did I get your email? Eden, I did get your email. I am launching my program as we speak. I am busy writing. I should have it up soon. Uh, I think it's pretty exciting. I think what I, the feedback that I got, and for all of you joining me here, is that there's a real shortage of supportive programs. There's a real list of diets that you can go on. You get my notifications. You get notifications for Periscope or for Facebook mentions. Oh, and Gina, thank you for inviting other people. I know there's some people who are amazing on Periscope about swiping, and my friends Alex and Kim Garce are brilliant at this platform. I just can't stand that it goes away. I can't do the, I, I can't see it. So I do these great pontifications. I let you guys in some really good information, and 24 hours later, it's gone. Hey, Daphne, how are you? So I spent a lot of time over on Facebook, and I don't know if Facebook lets you guys know that I'm doing this. So I'm trying to find the solution. Um, looking into webinars, you can save it on Catch Me. You know, somebody said that about Catch Me. I guess I have to look that up. Hmm. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of research. Um, as I think some of you saw recently, I did a whole thing on butter. Periscope gives you mentions. Facebook only tells me when I'm on Facebook. Haha, <laughs> that's very funny. Um, I have found out a lot about nutrition, only if you follow you on Facebook, because then follow me on Facebook. Um, I don't charge for it, it's all free. Uh, on Facebook, if you do um, come to my Facebook fan page, uh, it is simply facebook.com slash Forbes Riley fan page. If you want at the same time, you can come on. There's about almost 800,000 people on Facebook with me, and we are a very strong community. I love Facebook because I like the pictures. I don't really get Twitter. If you get Twitter, do you want to just sit me down and explain it to me? Hello, Candace. So I think that's the best use of my time. Anyway, the point is I've been doing some serious research on nutrition and the value of what we put in our bodies and how it affects our brain. Because I think as I'm getting a little older, I'm going through all kind of crazy things, emotional craziness. Yeah, I need a Twitter help too. I don't think Twitter's the way to be. Facebook to me, the way you can post, the way it saves, the way you can private contact each other, I think it is absolutely, although I do like the hearts that you guys are doing, so don't get me wrong, I think that's kind of cool. Um, I think that once you uncover the truth about what we eat and what you put in your mouth and how it functions and how it affects your brain, I don't know how you can go out to a restaurant. I don't know how we can eat. Just love your name, Forbes. It's so rich. Thank you. Well, it's rich in ideas. Forbes Riley, and if you ever come to one of my speeches, it's very personal how Forbes came to be, all the way from my grandmother. So I'm enjoying the conversation. You know who does this really well? My friend Shaleen does this well. There's some people who are really out there on a very steady basis. I don't, I don't know that I have all that time, but I love the idea that we can be very intimate here. Feel free to ask a question. Um, I'm kind of curious, since I started my EAT program, go take a look at myeatjournal.com. It's, it's a little website for my new book. I know, isn't Shaleen amazing? She really is. I also, it's so funny, I was watching a girlfriend of mine, Rachel, today, and she was doing a Periscope, and she was apologizing that she never makeup on. That's something that Alex Kahn would never do. He never apologized that he doesn't have his makeup on. We as women, we are so screwed, because if we don't have it all done, it just doesn't look as good, does it? Well, I appreciate you guys all joining me. Just having an ongoing conversation about what we eat, why we eat, and how we eat, and what we're supposed to do about this. Because I went into the health food store uh, yesterday, and the cereal that I wanted was $8 because it's so organic and so raw and so natural. And I don't know if we talk about healthy food, how most people can afford to eat healthy. On the other side of the coin, how can you afford not to? We are putting so much, yes, it's myeatjournal.com. You guys are really good. I'm gonna start, maybe I'll hang out on Periscope a little more. Myeatjournal.com is a simple little Wix site, but it talks about my eat journal. And I get people all the time as a health and fitness expert who just seem sad. 
who just go, Forbes, I don't know how to figure it out. I don't know what to do. And, you know, the answer is not quite that simple. The answer is not a diet. The answer is not a five-day quick program that you can go on. The answer is a lifestyle. The answers are changes that you can do. So I did a mention, and I'm going to do it every Friday, about five things that you can do every week to change. Forbes 5 on Friday. One of them, and I don't think you guys saw this, is, hello, my Juice, Apple, Juice Florida, is to clean out your closet. That's why you need to come back here. Well, you know, I didn't know I was so welcome. Actually, I'm, I'm liking this. So real quick, as I'm driving to a, a quick little errand I'm running, the five things that you need to do. One is you need to clean out your closet, and I need to clean out your refrigerator. You need to get on this concept that old is bad, moldy is bad. Um, God, how do I explain this? Look at what you eat. Look at the, the ketchup that you eat. Is it full of sugar? Look at the mayonnaise that you eat. What is natural that you're putting in your body? And then go through your pantry. And you really have to take stock. There's such a difference if you go to a health person. And, and health doesn't mean fanatical. Health just means really good choices. It's the kind of cereal that you eat. And by the way, we're on a mission to fight big business. Not that I don't love big business, I guess. I don't want to get them yelling at me or shutting me down. But they just started something very scary. I just forgot why you were at a party and really liked you. Gina, thank you very much. I did. I did it last night. They just did something really crazy. High fructose corn syrup is the death of us all. It is in almost everything. They sneak it in. They do terrible things. And I just found out that they now can label it. Like it, it doesn't have to have even 1%. I just read the article and got sent some research on this that they're calling it something else so that we as consumers don't know. Because we let the word out as a group of health-minded, conscious people that high fructose corn syrup was danger, death, poison. So they started labeling it other things. And now they're telling us there's a whole thing that they can put into fructose to also make that completely unnatural. So they're working very hard to keep our food salted and sweet and addictive and all those things that you don't realize that they're doing. Why do I care? Because I've got two kids, because I'm a person of the world, because when I look at you, I want you to smile back at me with all your teeth. Unlike the guy I just sat next to at Starbucks, terrible skin and only three teeth in his entire head. Now, I'm sure that's due to a lot of factors, but maybe something he's eating or drinking or ingesting or the amount of sugar or things that nobody told him. Why is it people lie to us? They lie because they want to make money. You know, can't you make money and tell the truth? Can't you make money and be natural? Can't you make money and live a conscious life? This life is way too short and I don't want you to suffer. So anyway, I was going to just give you the five things. So what is the subject of your discussion? The discussion is one that I'm coming back to Periscope. I was just checking in. My, my conversations always come around to food and I was just giving you the five things that I talk to my Facebook fans about because I've gotten a flood a flood of people wanting information and what I asked them to do was because I don't have a huge system is to simply send me private message me your email if you want to be put on this list the list I literally in the one mentions conversation that I did I think I got three or four hundred names so if you would like to be part of this discussion, uh, and I'll include free recipes and the system, and I can't teach you the whole system. Where do I buy my groceries? Okay, so there's a couple of places that you buy your groceries. That was one of the things on the Friday's Five. You need to shop with your local farmer market. Now, it's hard to do during the winter time, but during the summertime, almost everywhere, especially in this country, I don't know, in Russia, they have a local grown farmer's market. You need to support them. You need to find your local organic farmer and... Oh, that's interesting. Can Shaleen help me? I know Shaleen, actually. I probably should help. She's just genius. You know, I should reach out to her. Thank you for that. So if they're an organic farmer, they are fighting very hard to keep their organic status. It's a little more expensive for them to keep the licenses. And you need to support them. Find someone that is committed to the ground they're growing food in and support them. We have a local co-op here that I support and I think it's really important. Teach the kids to get out there and get their hands dirty. See where food comes from. Food doesn't come from a grocery store. It comes from the ground. It comes from animals. It comes from nature. Am I single? Oh, that's such a loaded question. No, I'm not single. Thank you for asking though. Um, and by the way, I'm way too much trouble. You don't want to get involved with someone like me. Trust me. The other thing you buy is you go to look for health food stores. There are a lot, Gina, <laughs> there are a lot of stores now that are committed to supporting health conscious eating. The thing that I find out too 
is that they're very expensive and that's heartbreaking to me I mean they my food bill when I went in there what about Whole Foods and Fresh Market oh Eden let me tell you something great stores but Whole Foods is also called Whole Paycheck they're expensive so what you need to do is you really need to budget what you are gonna move into eating because you can spend a lot of money and that is the other thing that I'm very conscious of I have a lot of clients who can't afford all the best but you need to be smart you need to know get eggs that are from farm fresh animals that are organic that is one of the big things that you can do the other thing you need to do is find meat that is grass-fed and like I said support your farmers do a co-op if you have to do not let money be an excuse that is the big thing but Whole Foods as a company is very committed to supporting you know entrepreneurs on all levels if you've got a new invention or a healthy concept and you go to Whole Foods you can get your products in their stores I like their process of buying I am based between Los Angeles and St. Pete. Most of my time now I live in St. Pete, Florida for a couple of reasons. One, I work on HSN here and I love being around the water. And while there's water in California, you can't get into it. Here we boat, we fish, we hang out on these beautiful beaches. Uh, in LA it's also crowded. I miss my LA, trust me, I love it. Uh, my daughter has convinced me to go back out there for the summer to uh, pursue a little acting again. We'll see if we do that. HSN is amazing. If you go to HSN, I have my own brand. I sell my Spin Gym, which I firmly believe everyone should have a Spin Gym. Greatest fitness product on the planet. Very inexpensive. So you asked me what the five things that I did on my mentions were. Let me see if I can get through them without getting sidetracked. One, you're cleaning out your pantry. Two, you're buying food at grocery store, at, at local farmers markets or whole food stores and really reading your ingredients. Get serious about the things that you put into your body. Make a commitment that you are that important. You don't put water in your gas tank while you're putting crap in your body. And if you put crap in your body, it's overweight, it's sluggish, it doesn't do what it needs to do. Number three, broccoli. That sounds crazy. Broccoli is so full of nutrition. Most people steam it or fry it or do silly things with it. Uh, not seem it, I mean boil it. I want you to just one day a week, while we're on this program together, and we're gonna do this for six weeks, is to simply buy broccoli. And I want you to learn how to steam it. Now the other crazy thing that we're talking about, the fourth thing, was the value of butter. Fresh butter. Farm fresh, grass-fed cows producing butter. And this is weird because all of a sudden, we're saying no longer is it a low-fat world, in fact, it is a high-fat world. And yes, you do need to use it. Everybody needs to invest in a steamer. But get this. Avocado, coconut, olives, butter. Uh, you know, for so many years, we were not allowed to, um, you know, eat butter. Yes, Kerrygold butter is grass-fed, and that is the gold standard. You know, I'm thinking you should buy stock in Kerrygold right now because that company is exploding ever since Bulletproof Coffee came out and started talking about butter. Now... I'm gonna, uh, don't get mad at me, but it's not butter on your bread. You don't want to be eating processed anything if you can help it. But you now can put butter on your potato, and you can put butter on your broccoli. And yes, I use it for my bulletproof coffee. You know, it's. I don't drink coffee anymore. I drink a little bit of it, but the roasting process of coffee is very harsh on your stomach. But apparently, adding butter to your coffee or your morning tea seems to have a very positive effect on your brain, on your energy. I like this. So what are my five things one last time? We're on the same page. Gina, let me tell you something. We're on the same page. I am committed to talking about this because that's not what other people talk about on a regular basis. I don't know what your conversation was this Sunday. In fact, I have a goofy idea. I don't know if you're religious or not. Uh, my snow skis. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Let me ask you a crazy, crazy question. I need you to chime in since we're having a two-way conversation. If I did a thing called Church of the Fit on Sunday, I'm going to start preaching. Now, I'm not preaching scripture. I'm not, no, I'm not preaching Jesus. I'm not preaching anything religious. You can go to your, wherever you already go, and you can believe in whatever you believe in. I have my own beliefs, and I love God, and I love Jesus, and I love Buddha, and I love all of this. That's not what I want to talk about. I want Church of the Fit to be this rockin' concept where we can talk about health and fitness and exercise and I can get up there and not be polite about this. You know, the kind of churches that I like are the ones that are out outrageous, that are filled with music and clapping and song and rejoicing in life, the God within us, the God above us. 
Is it a good idea? All right, I got a one thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up or give me a yes if you think this is a good idea. Because on Sunday, I'm going to be doing Church of the Fit. I've wanted to do it forever. Uh, Church of the Fit is a good idea. Mwah! Gina, thank you. Because I had a couple of my rather religious friends go, oh, you can't do that. I'm like, no. See, you can. I envision online and in person this forum where we are rocking it out. We are celebrating. It is a hallelujah kind of, oh, my God, I love life. If you love life, you love fit, you're going to come to Church of the Fit. And I wish there was another way to say instead of church, because church sounds scripture-ish. And that isn't the point. You can go to your church in the morning and then come. He goes to the church. Of, no, he goes to the church of the NFL. It's very funny. I think church means a gathering of people. Now, it may mean for religious purposes. Oh, Eden, I love that. Go to Church of the Fit. I think that's hysterical. Am I still on, you guys? Let me know that I'm still on. I had a little phone call. I don't know what happens with phone calls. Does it just interrupt your, your periscope? Yes. I, Gina, so that'd be funny. I've wanted to do this forever. I, would you tune in? Would you? I, I think this is a good idea. So maybe I'll do it on Periscope. Maybe I will pick a time. I'm going to let you know through Facebook because that, again, is the easiest way for me to write things down. I want to, Eden, I want to thank you for your support. Gina, thank you for your support. Um, we're here. Your call freezes us. Uh, I think that this is a, an amazing forum to be live. You know, it's funny. I'm actually, you want to hear something crazy? So look what I'm going past. I'm actually driving past a church. Churches to me need to be where people rejoice in life and sing and dance and just remember what it's like to be human. And most churches, my churches or temples, never talked about food and health. They talked about things that we're important, but every day you get up and you have to eat. Every day you get up and you have to look at your body in the mirror. You take a shower, you see yourself. And I so often wonder if what we're doing, oh, I think I've passed where I have to go. All right, you know what? I'm going to go for now. Uh, I love this time. Thank you guys very much for sharing it with me. I will talk to you soon. From all my heart to yours. Bye.